Hello, my name is Father Dennis Gill. I am very happy to be with you and join you in this Bible reading novena, and especially under the theme, Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. I would like to talk to you about the book of Joshua in particular. The book of Joshua is a historical narrative, but at the same time, it is deeply theological. And one of the reasons for us to consider it during this novena is because of what Joshua says to us about leadership. As you know, Joshua followed Moses. And before he died, he commissioned people to continue his own work. What we see in the book of Joshua is a certain consistency in the passing on of the leadership of the Jewish people, the Jewish people under the covenant with God's blessing. This is a very important theme all throughout the Old Testament. God provided for his people in setting them up, but setting them up also with leaders who would be representative of him and make sure that his word and his will was carried out among the people. And leader after leader would pass on this responsibility to the next to ensure that God's work would continue. We learn a lot from Joshua and how he did this and how important it is not only in the book of Joshua, but also for us as Christians. In one sense, when Jesus Christ comes into the world, he receives the leadership of all those who've gone before him in the old covenant as he becomes the high priest of the new covenant. Jesus Christ, when he gives his life on the cross and is raised up, becomes head of his body, the church, of which we are all members. And sacramentally, this leadership continues through the apostles that he chose to surround him and for him to pass on his leadership into the church and the disciples that he gathered to himself. And as he instructed them to go forth and to announce his word and to provide for his people. In a very real way, this speaks to us who have a concern about vocations in the church, especially vocations to the holy priesthood. Everyone who is ordained a priest is ordained a priest in the person and ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ. They become a sacramental icon of who Jesus is as head and leader of his body. They take on with Jesus and through the power of his spirit, faithful to the plan of his father and our father in heaven to continue to announce his saving word in all of its fullness to call people to reform their lives, to turn away from sin, and to be faithful to the gospel. To celebrate the mysteries of Christ, again, in his person, in his person as head and leader of the church, so that people can continue to encounter, especially in the most holy Eucharist, the divine event of his paschal mystery, and share in all of his promises for us here on earth and in heaven. Priests, when they are ordained in the person of Jesus, taking on the mantle of his leadership in the church today, they continue under the blessing of the Father and within the church to allow for the gospel in all of its fullness to be preached to everybody, everywhere, in every aspect. It's important for us during this novena, as we read in the book of Joshua and in all the books of the Old Testament, that we see that this is part of God's plan, that leadership be consistent in the story of salvation. It becomes permanent and is somewhat divine, especially in the new covenant of the New Testament with Jesus Christ, the great high priest. For men who are discerning the call to the holy priesthood, it is Jesus himself who calls you. He calls you to act in his name and in his person, so that today you might lead the people of God, that you may pass on the faith and prepare for future generations to know, love, and serve the Lord in the church. Thank you, and God bless you.